Guys, it's the last week of Nehemiah. Are you ready to play a game and then close the book out? If so, let's go. It's time to play, which is better? Which is better, dogs or cats? Which is better, cake or pie? Which is better, riding a train or riding a plane? Which is better, soup or sandwich? Which is better, a card game or a board game? Which is better, playing with toys or reading books? Which is better, riding a scooter or riding a skateboard? Which is better, numbers or letters? Which is better, ninjas or pirates? Which is better, TV shows or movies? Which is better, breakfast or lunch? Which is better, sleeping on your bed or sleeping on the couch? Thanks for playing. That was a great game. Now let's worship God and thank him for all he does for us. Lord's discipline Oh 
He loves you, my son. I delight in you, my son. I delight in you, my son. He loves you, my son. He loves you, my son. I delight in you, my son. I delight in you, my son. As we start our lesson, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever gotten some bad news or heard something that made you sad? How does it make you feel when you hear bad news? You might feel sad, scared, angry, worried, or helpless. Our story this month has been about a man named Nehemiah. When things got hard for Nehemiah, and there seemed to be so many problems, Nehemiah didn't quit. He prayed to God to give him strength. From that day on, the builders wore their swords at their sides as they worked. They worked from first light until it was too dark to see and were able to complete the wall in only 52 days. So what has Nehemiah taught us about how to help in a bad situation? One, pray and fast. Nehemiah prayed and fasted. Ask God to give you strength, wisdom about what you would do and success in helping others. Before doing anything, you should always pray about it. Two, tell others and ask for help. Nehemiah told the king about the problem and asked for help, even though he was scared. Let other people know about the situation because they may be able to help. Three, get involved. Nehemiah got involved. He said, send me. He knew he could make a difference with God's help. You can get involved in many ways. You can go to where help is needed or you can help from your own home or country. Put up flyers, collect money, send cards, food, gifts, etc. Four, organize. Nehemiah talked to the people and persuaded them to help build the wall. He organized them into groups and made sure everyone had something to do. When some of the men refused to help, he didn't let it get him down. He concentrated on the ones who would help. You can also get other people to help. Organize them so the work can be done. Encourage them, support them, and protect them. Five, don't quit when things get hard. Nehemiah didn't give up when things got hard. When the people began to complain and his enemies were trying to stop the work, Nehemiah continued to pray and encourage the people to continue. He listened to them and tried to protect them. Helping people in need isn't always fun or rewarding. Realize that it is a lot of hard work. Ask God to give you strength when it gets hard. Well, see you next month. Bye.